What's going on everybody? We got another Rapidisc review for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the iDog <laughs> from Castaplast. Brand new fairway driver coming in at a 7.5, negative 0.52. So brought out my Discraft Athena, which is a 7.502 to compare. Now this Athena is a little bit used, a little bit beaten, so maybe it'll have that negative 0.5 turn that this one has. This one's still pretty stable though, so if you guys weren't able to snag an iDog from FlightFactoryDiscs.com, I'm really sorry. They are out of stock already. Um, however, the stock run should be coming out soon, so keep your eye out for that. Let's give these things a toss out there and see how they do. We'll throw the iDog first, and then we'll see how the, uh, how the Athena compares to it. You guys know the drill. We're just going to try to throw it as flat as possible in the first row. Okay, that was Heiser. Huh, that was a lot of hyzer. Didn't mean to throw it like that, but it did have a slight flip up to it. Maybe very, very slight, but hyzer finish. Not the best throw. Let's see uh, how the Athena will compare. We'll try to throw it a little bit on hyzer as well. Flat throws are not my, not my strong suit out here, so. All right, my Athena might have a little bit more flip up now, I did get more snap on that throw, but I think the Athena might be a little bit a little bit more beat in. Uh, probably a brand new Athena would fly just like that iDog. So not the best rip from the iDog there. You guys know as these videos go on, I usually start doing a little bit better, getting better throws. So I'm working on something on my form, a little bit on my grip. Hopefully with this new grip, new form that I'm working on, hopefully we'll be seeing a little bit more flatter throws, maybe even slight turn uh, when I want to. So let's try to actually throw it flat this time, see what we can do. Show you guys the profile real quick in this dark corner. It's got a little bit of dome to it. It's a pretty typical fairway driver feel, um, but that Castaplast plastic just feels so good. I am a little bit of a geek when it comes to Castaplast plastic. I think it is one of the best feeling plastics in the game. Super premium, super smooth. Never felt any flashing on Castaplast. It just feels really good. Okay, that's a bit flatter. Still not the best throw. I'm gonna I'm gonna do better for you guys, I promise. Just just keep watching, keep watching. All right, let's see this Athena, because I haven't thrown it in a while and it seems to be a little bit flippier than I thought. Yeah, see that had a nice flip up and a straight push. That Athena when it was brand new definitely flew like the eye dog. So Okay, so I think we've determined that that Athena doesn't fly quite like this iDog. This iDog is a little bit more stable now that Athena has been in my bag pretty much since I started playing disc golf a little over a year ago. So it is a little bit beat in. However, I think this iDog could be a really good like T-Bird slot. If you guys don't like the hand feel of the T-Bird, I'm one of those guys that I'm not the biggest fan of like the big scoop on the T-Bird. It just kind of feels weird in my hand. That's why I've always went for the Athena. I thought it felt better in my hand. And this iDog is the same as that. It feels great in the hand. No flashing at all. I've, I've had some champion T-Birds that, I mean, they'll almost cut your finger off when you throw them. So this thing feels great. Hopefully we can get it on some Anheuser this time and uh, show you guys some turn on this thing. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Slight Anheuser there. Definitely a much better throw. And you can tell it went a good bit further. So not a bad flight there, actually pushed pretty pretty straight before fading. I really like this seven, eight, nine speed uh, category. I love fairway drivers. They're my favorite discs to throw. I don't really pull out a driver unless it's like 400 feet plus wide open, wide open. If it's 400 feet in the woods, I'm still probably throwing a fairway driver. So that wasn't a bad Anheuser shot for me. You guys know I'm not the best at it. I can't even hardly throw flat. That's why most of the times I just throw something super flippy and throw it on a hyzer if I need to, if I need something to turn or I throw a forehand, <laughs> which is what I'll show you guys right now. That's what we're going to be throwing next. See if we can get a little bit more turn out of this thing. We'll try to throw like a flat forehand and then maybe like a choppy anhyzer forehand and then we'll uh, end the video out there. I'll say it's worth mentioning. This disc feels really good in my forehand grip. I don't know why exactly it feels really good. I do the stacked finger forehand grip. I don't know. Just feels really good. It could be the plastic, could be just because I'm a cast plas boy. But um, yeah, feels super good in the forehand. 
I'll show you guys how it flies on that throw right quick. We're just gonna throw in between those trees, try to keep it flat. Oh yeah. That one had a little waka 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 on it, but you know, other than that, wasn't a bad throw. I think it was a little bit hyzer, a little, maybe kind of flat, but had nice stability. I'm not worried about this disc burning over or anything like that. Even if you give it a nice chop beforehand, I'll show you guys that right quick. All right, we're gonna throw it down there to that basket. Hopefully we blow past the basket. It's a little short, but you never know these days. Now fight out. Mmm. Put that one on a good chop. And uh, the headwind kept it over. It didn't uh, want to fight out too hard. So I think that's actually good news because uh, in this kind of disc, you don't really want something to be supremely beefy. Like this isn't, a, this isn't supposed to be a firebird or nothing like that. This is a T-bird slot. And um, yeah, T-bird on a, on a 45 degree angle chop like that, it, it, it shouldn't ever come out, honestly. It should ride that, that turn. I actually really like that, especially when you need to get around a corner like that and you want it to kind of flex out at the very end and kind of just ride. That's how you're gonna get that distance on a turnover shot. It's when it kind of starts to come out, but not fully comes out. I like that, that's money. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I know I didn't have the best couple backhands. Uh, we did have one good backhand and I appreciate you guys if you did stick around to the end to watch the, watch the good throws, right? So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys stay subscribed. We're gonna be doing the shift video soon as well as the new drop from Discmania. I'm pretty excited about that one. I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good zone like disc, maybe a little bit more overstable than the zone. It feels just like a zone and I'm hoping it's just gonna be a little bit tick more overstable because you guys know that's how I like my zones. But yeah guys, that's gonna do for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.